Hi everyone, hi beautiful family. Welcome back to my page. In today's video, I will be talking about how you can use your menstrual pad to destroy the spirit of barrenness. Your menstrual pad to destroy the spirit of barrenness. Now, barrenness, we have barrenness as a result of we have infection, low span count, ovarian cysts, fibroid. Yeah. I will be talking about what you can use to pray yourself out, destroying it, and be free. Now, we have spiritual barrenness caused by human beings, demons, witches, and wizards. This is the one I want to talk about. Barrenness as a result of spiritual attack on your marriage, on your womb, on your menstrual period, on your ovulation, on the fruits of your body. What the enemies do is to monitor you year to year, month to month, week to week, days to days, to ensure that they know when you are supposed to see your period, and when your period is not supposed to come out, they will fox it out. How do you know that you under that such attack? You have weird dream on a monthly basis. Either you saw tomatoes, red tomatoes, red chili pepper, either fresh or dry, red oil, or they split blood on the floor, or they give you clothes stained with blood, or you see yourself, they fox pad on you, or you see yourself putting pad on your body. Once you have that dream, before you know, you will lose a pregnancy. I must tell you, something is fighting that pregnancy. Some of the time when you are in dream, a woman will come and say, give me that baby. Or a man will come and give me that baby. They will drag that baby from you. You don't know them. Something is actually fighting. When you use your menstrual periods to fight back, backing it with the blood of Jesus. Now, Jesus is the name that is above every other name. That when you mention it, every name will pass. Satan go down, bowing before that name. So, in your own name, it will not work. You need to use that powerful name, that spiritual name, that name that carry fire, thunder, and lightning to destroy. Maybe you are a woman of age, you want to have a baby, even if you're not married. As long as you're interested in carrying your baby, hearing a cry of baby in your house, please do this recipe. Also, share this video to that man, to that woman that have been praying, believing God to have a children. Because they will delay you. A child you're supposed to be at the age of 25, 20 years that you marry, they will allow you to stay for. 20 years, waste a whole 20 years, a whole 10 years, you are lacking behind in the fruit of your body. Another one, you can even do IVF. It will keep on failing because there is a spiritual attack. They might have locked your womb. They might have tied child on you. Either on your wedding day, either through gift, or whatsoever. The reason, they will never tell you. Because if they tell you, you may have Yes. But they are interested in seeing you crying, going from places to places, looking for a solution, spending money. Go no further. Look no further. Look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith, and carry out this recipe. I can assure you, child of grace, assurance covers you. It is within. There shall not be barren in the land. None shall lack their, their ne, none shall cast their young one. Go ahead and be fruitful and multiply as God give you the grace. Did you enter into it because of a sin of abortion? That's another topic. You'll be asking God for mercy. So the day your period starts, okay, is in different parts, but this is the first one. The day, your very day your period starts, you're going to get this paper. Write your name, you and your husband name, like my mama, Mrs. Ma mama Assurance. Mrs. So, so, so this and write on the paper. Any hand behind my predicament, any woman 
born of a man or woman, fighting me, preventing me not to carry my baby, received your judgment by fire. Any man fighting me, preventing me not to carry my baby, receive your judgment by fire. Every spirit, be spiritual spirit. Some of you, when you lie with your spouse, when you sleep, somebody will lie with you to flush out a pregnancy. You are not my creator. Receive your judgment by fire. Oh, yes. You write again, every eyes monitoring me, week month to month, year to year, week to week, this to this, month on my period, month on ovulation, month on when I'm having affection with my spouse today and end come to you so after writing this paper you that day you pray that the mercy of god will take over your case so in the night when you now put your menstrual pad this one that is soaked with blood is the one you're going to use not the empty one at night by when you have removed this one, put a fresh one. You will put it on the ground. Take your request on, 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 take your request. Then you open your Bible. You can use your phone or tell somebody to open it for you. Sit as in on the floor. Sit on the floor. Don't sit on the chair. Put it on the ground. I did not say you should go naked though. Yes. Then you read Psalm 51, one to the end. Ask God to show you mercy. Every act of sin you have committed. Whatever reason why they are fighting, you don't know. But if God forgive you and show you mercy, nobody can say no to it. Ask God to show you mercy and cancel this. That you don't want to be wetting your pillow month to month. You don't want to be wetting your pillow. You don't want to be going places looking for solution. Because it can make you to go places, take a lot of trash, a lot of things. All right? Yes. And at the same time, if they are attacking you, any medicine you are taking, it will work for others. It will not work for you because it's not a physical battle. Remember the spiritual control, the physical. Yes, I'm telling you this. Then after you read Psalm 51, ask God to, me, to show you mercy. Is it the abortion you committed? God should forgive you. Return those children. You are alive. You are healthy, physical, spiritually, and financially strength, strong to take care of those children. Let the children come back to you. you are, they are going to enjoy. Is it the one your husband did? Let it come back to you. Is there any other thing that is hidden that was not revealed? That God should show you mercy. Review it and show you how to correct the mistake. Because if you are alive, you have the life to correct the mistake. Nothing is late before God. As long as you have a heart of repentance. Amos 3, 3. Can two work together except they agree that today I disagree with that force that said I will not be a mother. I will not be a mother to my children. I will not be my husband. Children or my husband will not be a father. Whatever causing my husband lose pan cow, me hotness of womb, five broad, ovarians is yeast, today is going down in the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus because it's their name. That is above everything on that enemy here, and they will flee, flee, and use it with faith and boldness. Then go ahead and read Psalm 35. That you now put the paper in the in that place that your pad is soaked to blood in the front, not at the back of the pad, but at the front, soaked to blood. You hold it very well. Let the blood soak the paper. You start praying that with the blood of my mercies, I cost anyone holding me not to conceive, to confess and die. I cost every cause holding me to come, to scatter by fire. Then pray with Psalm 35, release your own, unleash your anger on it. After that, you go and pray with Psalm 109. As you hate joy, may you never see joy. They gave birth to you. You are preventing another person not to give birth. You are a devil. You are a wicked soul. And God will punish you. Okay? Then you go and read Isaiah 49. 
24 to 26, 25 said, I will contend with them that contend with you. Say, God, contend with every power, every forces contending with me on this planet Earth. And whatever they're using, I fight you back with the pain of the blood of this my message, blood for blood. With the blood of Jesus, I overcome you today. Then go ahead and pray. And pray, say your prayer. Anyone drinking the blood of my mercies, you see it. The Bible says you will drink your blood and eat your flesh. So after praying, Exodus 14, I will fight your battle, you will hold your peace. Oh God, arise and fight my battle for me. Even if you are not seeing your mercies, somebody will say, What of those that have not seen your mercies? I will explain on how you can still do this prayer. But let's focus on those that same messages so that I will not be distracted. Okay, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video to that person that I've been looking for child, going to churches to churches, river to river, when they will not give you child. And they are, and uh, uh, 20 years, they will say the child should come back. You start another sorrow. We don't want that. Gift of God, make it way and added no soul. After you pray and pray and pray and pray, you summon that spirit. You summon them with your part. You summon them with this blood. You cause them to go misery. You cause them to stop monitoring you. You cause everything they have afflicted you to pass back. Because blood is very powerful. Once we have done doing that prayer, you from now on, I reject that cause. That miscarriage. You fold it like this. Fold it like this. Fold it like this. It is written, whatever I destroy on earth shall be destroyed in heaven. You reject it. Reject it four times. Turn your hand to the back. Reject it. Reject it again. Please burn it. Try and burn it that night. Put it somewhere. Go outside your house anywhere. Pour some kerosene. Put your matches, light it, let it burn. So at his, as it's burning, you are praying. You are crying. The Bible said there is an end. Proverbs 23 verse 18. Surely there's an end to it. And afflictions will not rise up again for the second time. And the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. This mark the end today. Mark the end of this attack in my life. No woman will come and snatch my baby again. No spirit will come between me and my conception. I am free to conceive and give birth to my children as God who pleases and as I desire in Jesus' name. Please burn it to ashes. Burn it until it can never be recognized again and trash it in a beam. If you are in a country where you cannot burn it, don't know where to burn it, you can dig a ground, you bury it. Let this one begin to fight you. Anywhere you are going, the blood will enter your eyes. It will fight you. Do you understand? My blood will fight you. The blood of Jesus will fly, fight you. Don't forget to plead the blood of Jesus on it to circulate it. So you will bury it. This is how you are going to do it. That first day that your period started. Okay. Now, you need spiritual command salt. You need your cleansing soap. You need back to sender soap. You need liquid fire oil. You need your back to sender oil. You need your liquid fire oil. This one will be communicate with you when you get it. When you conceive, you start using it. You will never get miscarriage. Your baby will never breach. You will have a successful pregnancy and you will deliver like the Hebrew women. All right. Yes. So when you got pregnant, you start using all these things. They will not be able to stop you again. Even if you do IVF, IVF will no longer fail again. You take any treatment, the treatment will be highly effective for you to carry your baby and by this time, 2025, you already a mother of twins, triplets, quadlets, as you desire by special grace of God. Now, at the end, once you have done this prayer on that day, the following day, 
do we enter a fasting called Sisto 12 with a fruit and start telling God, this is the last period. The next one is pregnancy. I conceive easily. You start eating your fruit. That one, you need an anointing oil I will send to you. You will be anointing that fruit to eat it. Yes. And you see your results. That's what I'm going to do. When you finish your period, finish this your period, you are going to get a seed. You contact me on my number, get a seed, then I will be praying for you. That seed, I myself, we use it and put one in the altar, take one to the motherless baby home and go and give one to little children as in pray it and give it to a little children. So your seed you are sending is going to go to three places. All right. There is no answer without sacrifice. That your seed will speak for you. It is your seed of freedom from barrenness. Some of you say, Mama assurance, I don't see my period. How do I do this? Because some of you, they've blocked you. You are not menstruating at all. How do I do this? How will you do this? Is that when you wake up in the middle of the night, that how you will do that one, those that are not seeing your period, is another video entirely. Chat me if you are not seeing your period. I will recommend one video that you go and do your period will come back and be able to do it. Once you see anybody looking for fruit of the womb, direct, carry this video sent to them. Let them help themselves. Help them, help them help those that are willing to help themselves. Watch out for more clips like this. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Use the number to order for any product on my WhatsApp. I love you. God is interested in your happiness. God bless you. Bye. For the breaking, for the breaking of every cause holding you not to get pregnant, somebody will tell me, "Is it only one day? I'm going to do it." If you have the all the time, do it for the days after your period. It just that month. Do it for the days of your period. But if you cannot do it for the whole days, only one day you can do. It. Do it effectively. Next month. Repeat it again. Next month, repeat it for like three times. As a once in a month, once in a month for three months. Before that, your testimony will land successfully in Jesus' name.